Hello everyone, so today we are docked in Portland, England. So we have never visited this area before and we decided to take a trip out. At the moment you're only permitted to leave the ship when in port on an MSC excursion, which can be booked on board either on your cabin TV, your MSC for me app, or at the excursions desk in the Galleria Virtuosa. The excursion staff were very knowledgeable of their tours, especially considering we were the first cruise to dock here in Portland. Our tickets were received in our cabin, which detailed the time we had to meet in the theatre, and of course in true MSC fashion, came with our excursion number sticker that you have to wear. As per excursions rules at this time, you must stay with your grip and remain in the ship's bubble at all times. Our guide in our safety brief explained we were to ensure our masks were worn, unless outside or eating or drinking, hands to be sanitised frequently, and to ensure social distancing guidelines were adhered to. Now we're off to explore. On the way to our first location, we drove past Poundbury. Poundbury is built on the Duchy of Cornwall land according to the principles of architecture and planning as advocated by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, in his book A Vision of Britain. Our coach made a short 15 minute stop for photos so we could admire the views and in particular that of the Cern Abbas giant. This cheeky chalk figure depicts a standing nude male, 55 metres high, waving a club and while the rest doesn't need an explanation. The giant is an important part of the culture and folklore of Dorset. One story is that the giant came from Denmark and led an invasion and was beheaded by locals. What can be seen therefore is the outline of his corpse. Others associate the figure with fertility, and in the past a maypole would be erected on the site and childless couples would dance to promote fertility. We then made our way through the countryside to Minturn House and Himalayan Gardens, and were met by Lord Digby. Home to the first Sir Winston Churchill, the present house was built in 1905 and still contains some of the original Churchill tapestries and furniture. We had the pleasure of him giving a short talk on his ancestry and the history of the house, followed by a leisurely stroll through the gardens, which is some of the largest rhododendrons we had ever seen. Our visit was topped off by a delicious cream tea and being guided through some of the ground floor rooms by Lord Digby himself. Time now to head back to the coach for the leisurely drive back to our ship. Our trip lasted around 5 hours and cost £69 each. We did think this was a bit on the expensive side, but we're glad to experience our first excursion while cruising through a pandemic. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel as we have lots more content to bring you.